burn the fucking boats, get the fuck out, throw yourself in, become committed, and you will achieve the outcome. If you're pissing about doing a sideline project in part-time, after hours, at the weekends, and you're secretly hoping that this is gonna become your own business, then I'm here to tell you that you need to step up, take action. If you've got real financial commitments holding you back, we'll explore that. But the bottom line is, you have to get the fuck out and take action. Also in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to gain an extra month in the year of productive time. Check it out. So for me, the primary outcome, the first thing I would say is you can probably guess is if you're balancing your day job and doing this thing on the side, it's actually just quit the fucking day job. Like if you're in a financial position to do that, then quit the fucking day job. And I would ask myself some serious, serious questions about the level of financial commitment that, that you've got. Like if you're, oh, but I've got a mortgage, move the fuck out and rent it to someone else. Let that cover itself and then go and rent somewhere else cheaply or move back home with your parents. Like if this project is so important to you, if it truly is important to you, you'll, you'll make it happen. And so you don't need to you know, say, oh, I've got a mortgage commitment or I need to feed the family. Sure, you do need to feed your family. I'm not saying make them starve, but find another way, right? Move back home with family if that's the way to do it. Or I don't know, use your savings, plan your savings and say, right, I'm gonna, I've got enough savings to cover my lifestyle for six months worth of runway and I don't need to work. Um, if you really, 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 really can't get into that position, then fine, you know, see if you can go part time. Can you do some, con can you do a contracting gig? And I know in the industry of, of DMs, actually, it's probably it's relatively easier than other industries to actually win, win contracts. Um, so if you really, really do have to do it, step down. But critically, you've got to be absolutely damn clear about if you go for this option of, okay, I'm going to step down to part time. It, it, it's got to be because there is no other way of making the finances work and not because that's a less risky option. Because for me, entrepreneurship, diving in, pursuing your dream, it's a, it's a binary thing. You're either all in or you don't fucking bother. Because I'll tell you why, the people who kind of dip their toe in and take this sort of like, I'm gonna take the sort of least risky approach to it, from my experience, they're the ones who do not follow through because they're not committed, they're not all in. You have to absolutely burn the fucking boat so that there's no way out for you and then you will be determined to succeed, right? So I would say, in order of priority, get the fuck out and just start, reduce your expenses, find some runway to cover it, you know, whatever it is you need to do to make that work. If you really can't make it work, then drop down to part-time or get some contracting gigs. Um, and if you really, really can't make that work for whatever reason, then fine, you're gonna be stuck in this situation of um, being in a world where, where you're having to do the day job and manage this on the side. How do you manage it? You've just gotta fucking put in the hours, right? The billionaire and the beggar both have 24 hours in a day. The difference is how you use it, how you allocate your time, and where you choose to focus your energy. Now, consider this. If you get up one hour earlier per day and then crack on with your routine, in a whole year, that gives you 30 12-hour days worth of extra productive time. That's an extra month. And if you get up two hours earlier, you've got an extra two months. That's insane when you think of it like that. Yeah, absolutely. And, what, and the one thing that we are, have all got limited and we're all given the same in this world is time. And if you can hack that and find ways to optimize it, then you can take control of that and win back a time and be more productive in, in, in your life. So did you enjoy that video and find it useful? When you click subscribe now, you'll stay up to date on my latest videos, you'll remain empowered, and you'll get alerted every time new content comes out, and it doesn't cost you a thing. I'd love to hear your feedback. What else can I talk about that you will find interesting? Ask me your questions below, and I'll shoot some videos to answer them for you. In the meantime, keep smashing it, keep pushing it, and I'll see you on the next video.